my name is Meredith Wood Chan. And I'm Karen Tingy, and we are Portland Tycho's artistic leadership team. We'll be introducing the first few pieces. The footage used in these videos was filmed as we were preparing for our virtual fall concert this past September. Even though we could not and still cannot practice in person, we've made the best of the situation and practiced and continue to practice over Zoom. I'm excited to introduce this next piece, To Fly, composed by Ann Ishimaru. This particular video was filmed social distanced, outdoors, wearing masks at Dion Vineyards. This video features a mostly female cast, and To Fly is actually inspired by Maxine Hong Kingston's The Woman Warrior. And I definitely felt powerful playing with my fellow women taiko players. After To Fly, we'll play All Is Well, composed by Teresa Enrico. All Is Well features the bamboo flute, or fue, and has become one of our signature pieces over the last 20 years. For Teresa, music became a way during hard times to remind herself of the obstacles she had overcome, and that for the moment, all is well. We recorded this footage in two different locations, first in front of the Oregon Buddhist temple, and then again out on the Columbia River Gorge in an old barn. We then combined that footage to make this single video. We look forward to being back in the temple and in concert venues, but we won't forget that during this difficult time, we still found ways to come together and play Tycho and fulfill Portland Tycho's mission. Thanks for watching and please enjoy To Fly and All Is Well.
Hi, I'm Ann Ishimaru, one of the founding members of Portland Tyco. The piece you're about to see and hear is part of a broader process of creating a tribute to our dear friend, Valerie Otani. When Valerie left us all too soon, Zach and I were honored to be asked to compose a piece, a Tyco piece, in her honor. It seemed more appropriate to us, though, in true Valerie spirit, that the piece would be co-created by the group and the broader community that she brought together. These days, I've traded my bocce for a lectern as a faculty member and a researcher at the University of Washington. But I still regularly return to the creative process that Valerie was a part of helping us to use to compose community-based Tyco works. Today, I call those community-based co-design. And what you're about to see is the middle of an iterative co-design process. This tribute is still a work in progress, as you'll see. To kick off the creative process, Zach composed a melody for violin using the Okinawan scale and a backbeat, or G. With Anne's help, we came up with some design principles for the piece. For example, we knew that we wanted to incorporate what we call Valerie's signature taiko moves, and that interaction and connection were crucial, which is challenging since we can't even gather to play together. Working in small groups, the performers then came up with ideas that fit with all of that, and then we iterated on those week after week. We shared initial work at our year-end Bonenkai in December and invited attendees to help us shape the piece from there. We asked for images, phrases, and words that represented Valerie and that the song made viewers think of, and then that informed the piece going forward. You will notice some unusual instruments in the beginning of the piece. Members of PT and the broader community have found items at home that relate to Valerie in some way and we're using them to make new found sounds for the composition. Some common themes include cooking, osechi ryori, Valerie's art, mushroom hunting, and beer. As Anne said, this is still very much a work in progress. One day we'll be able to perform together, which feels like a really strange idea right now. But for now, we recorded individually or in pairs and then pulled it together into one video. We're excited to have you join us in this creative journey to pay tribute to our dear friend, Valerie. Please enjoy. 